guys! So today's video is a bonus video. I'm sure some of you are confused as to why there's a video going up today. And actually, this video was supposed to go up tomorrow. There was supposed to be a different video going up today. But in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through my K.O. Polish Winter Collection. I'm really excited to show you guys the colors, as you guys know in all these videos. I show you swatches, I talk about why I named them, what I named them, and all that good stuff. And I've been noticing some comments recently where some of you feel I've been kind of posting less beauty videos lately just because there's so many launches, especially for K.O. Polish. And it's just a lot going on, which I'm so grateful for, but I I know that some of you really miss the beauty videos, which is why I'm posting an extra video this week, which is today. I don't know, I'm thinking that every time I do one of these collection videos, I'll probably do it on a Thursday so that it doesn't interfere with my normal like videos. So let me know how that sounds in the comments. Let me know if that's something you would appreciate or not. So I don't want this video to be too long. I feel like I talk so much in all of these videos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This is what the box looks like. I wanted it to be really simple for winter. It's just a black box and the top it says Winter Glamourland, which is kind of like the theme we have going on this winter. We always name the collections based on the photo shoots. Like for fall, we had a very 70s themed photo shoot, so the box was very 70s themed. And for winter this year, we had like a very glam photo shoot. Everything was about like the gowns and the sparkle and it was very glamorous. So I kind of made a joke to the people over at Kale Polish. I was like, oh my gosh, what about Winter Glamourland? And I totally meant that as a joke. I didn't think anybody was gonna take me seriously. I thought they were gonna be like, no. And everybody liked that name. So we ended up going with it. So it is Winter Glamourland, which I think is kind of corny, but I kind of like it at the same time. And you can actually buy this bundle today. I know that on social media, we've been posting that the collection launches tomorrow, which it technically does. Everything does launch tomorrow, but you can buy the bundle exclusively today. Like tomorrow you can buy all the polish and all the polishes individually. Like for example, if you just want Ace and Central Park, you can do that tomorrow. But if you were planning on buying the box anyway, it is now currently available today, just the box. And the reason we're doing that is just so we can get all the box orders out as soon as we can. So if you were planning on buying the bundle tomorrow, you can do it today. If you were just planning on buying like two or three shades, you will have to wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna link the Kale Polish website down below. And I really, really, really wanna emphasize this and I need to mention this, but if you wait until about after December 13th to buy these boxes or these polishes, we cannot guarantee that you will get them by Christmas if you wait till after December 13th. Just because you know how crazy the holidays are and we are not the only company getting shipped out of warehouses, things can delay during the holidays. So I would highly suggest if you want this before Christmas that you get it now. And also, if you are an international subby, we have international shipping now, which is amazing. I should have said that in the beginning of this video. We now have international shipping. We have been working so hard to get this. It's been like a full year since we launched and we've been working on trying to get it and it's been a struggle but we are here now. We now have international shipping and of course with international orders things take even longer to ship so I would suggest getting gift cards if you are overseas and you want a little K.O. Polish love for Christmas. I would highly suggest getting gift cards. Check out the K.O. Polish website. We do have gift cards to offer and we have really cool stocking stuffers and really good stuff. So I will link the Kale Polish website below. But now, let's get into the colors. Let's get into the reason why you're here. While I tell you guys all the colors, I will be showing you pictures of my mom wearing all the colors. I did this in my last, well I've been doing this actually for like the past two launches. Every time we reveal a color on Instagram, my mom will post her swatches on Twitter and then I'll retweet it. So make sure you are following me on Twitter if you wanna see actual swatches on the nails of each color once we reveal the shade. Because obviously with the sneak peek photos, you can't really tell that well, you know? So my mom always posts photos for you guys, but I will be inserting the pictures in this video today. Wearing all the colors on her nails under natural Natural light like she always takes the photo under natural light like in front of her plants she takes those plants very seriously she loves those plants and she loves taking photos of her nails in front of those plants so anyway let's get into these colors so I wanted the winter collection to be a mix of like fun and Christmassy yet very vampy as well and this is one of my favorite collections like we've ever come out with it's so funny my friend Stephanie ever since we created this collection she's been calling it the Stephanie collection and it's her favorite and she hasn't shut up about it and here we are we're launching it Stephanie isn't it crazy we've worked so hard on this and honestly in no particular order I'm gonna get started 
Okay, so first up we have Mindy, and this one is stunning on everyone. I love this color. It's a very deep berry. I don't really love berry nail polishes on me, so I wanted this one to be a little bit deeper than your typical berry shade. And I love it. It is that like creme finish. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. It's so delicious. When you do one coat, the berry really shows through, but once you add the second coat, it does get nice and deep, and I love it. And I named it Mindy after Mindy Kaling, which is one of my favorite people in the entire freaking world. She's so funny and so smart and amazing, and I love her so much. I love everything she does. The Mindy Project is one of my favorite shows. She's in The Office, which is great, and she's just so amazing. I love her. And you guys know I always have a name in every single collection I do, just because, I don't know, it's something I want to do. I want to add a name in every collection, and this collection has Mindy. I've always known I wanted to name a polish after her, and yeah, now I have. Next up we have Casino Night, and I got a ton of comments about this one when we revealed it, asking me how similar it was to Das Suspensive, and they do look similar, not gonna lie. This is Das Suspensive. As you can see in the bottles, they do look similar. First of all, Das Suspensive was limited edition, we no longer sell this polish, and it was such a hit, I wanted to create something like it, but that was different, obviously. And Das Suspensive has so much more silver in it. It's kind of like a champagne glitter. Casino Night is very much gold, like this, this stuff is gold, and also, Casino Night is a lot chunkier than this one. Not like in a gross, negative way, it's just that Suspensive has such a fine glitter. All the little glitter particles are very, very, very small in that Suspensive, but when you look at Casino Night, the chunks of glitter are a lot thicker. You have like larger pieces of glitter in this guy, and it just looks so cool. I love using this as like an accent nail polish. I'm actually wearing it on these two nails right here. I'm wearing Central Park on all of my nails, but then right here on these two nails, I have kind of like a little golden Christmas tree effect that I tried to create. It, this nail polish screams holiday, and I love it. And I named it Casino Night after The Office. If you're an Office fan, you know exactly what episode this is. This is the name of an episode in The Office. A huge moment for Jim and Pam. Like this episode pulls at your heartstrings like, like nothing ever will. You, you know what I'm talking about, you know Casino Night. Casino Night broke all of our hearts, it really did. Next up we have Graham, which is a really pretty gray color. I don't even know how to describe the undertone in this, it's just like a gray polish. And I also got a lot of questions about this one, asking me to compare it to Wishbone, which it is totally different from Wishbone. I know it looks like it might be similar, and even in, damn, even in the bottles, they look similar. But in my opinion, these really aren't that similar at all. Wishbone is a cool tone nude, and Graham is a gray. Like, there's no way around that. Graham is gray. And there's something about this color that's just so cool to me. But this color is so beautiful. It's also a creme finish, and it's very, very opaque. You could pretty much get away with just using one coat of this guy, but of course, I always recommend two, and I love it. It's the perfect light shade during the winter. And I named it Graham after Graham in the holiday. Day, which The Holiday is one of my top five favorite movies of all time. Like definitely in my top five overall, but it is my favorite Christmas movie. Or like my favorite holiday movie. It's not just focused around Christmas, it's The Holiday. And when we first launched KO Polish, like the first six colors I ever came out with, it was during this time of year. We've already been around for one year, which is crazy to even think. But our first collection ever was launched in December. I can't, I can't even believe that, it's insane. But anyway, I have a color in there that's called gumption, which is also a term from the holiday. So I kind of made it a point in my mind to name one polish in every winter collection after the holiday. So this year we have Graham. Okay, next up we have one of my favorites. This is the nail polish I'm wearing right now. It is called Central Park. And this one is a very, very, very dark green, like a dark forest green. But I wouldn't even consider it like forest green. It's just, it's deeper than that. It's almost like a blackened green. I mean, in natural daylight, you can totally tell it's green, especially under the sun. It really looks like a forest green. But I love that it's so dark. The shade is beautiful for the winter, and I named it Central Park because it, it truly reminded me of Central Park. Not that the trees are this dark, but I don't know why. It really did. I've only been to New York once, but when I was there, I completely fell in love with Central Park. I was like blown away by it. Even though it's so simple, I found it so beautiful. And I've always wanted to name a nail polish after Central Park. And then when I saw this color, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect, Central Park. And I got so many comments from you guys saying like, why didn't you just name it Central Park? But guys, I wasn't trying to make a Friends reference. I really just wanted to name it after the park. So that's what I did, and I love these colors, so beautiful. Okay, now we have the showstopper. Well, I call it the showstopper. This is the perfect red. This one is called Ace. 
and it is a true like fire truck Christmas red. It's really perfect to me. I love this color so much. I think it's a staple in everybody's like nail polish collection. It looks good on every skin tone no matter what. Like this type of red looks gorgeous on everyone. I also got a lot of questions about Magic City and how it looked compared to Magic City. They are totally different. Magic City is a lot more neon as you can tell. This one has like a poppy neon undertone, like very, very electric. This one is more like a classic red. I did a poll months ago. I don't know if you guys remember. I did a poll on Twitter and I asked you guys, what color do you think of when you hear the word ace? And I put white, black, or red. And I'm pretty sure red won by a little bit. I think black was like really close. But red did win, which I was so thankful for because I was kind of like in the process of naming this one ace anyway. So I'm glad you guys agreed with me. And I think it's the perfect name. But I actually named it ace after Logan from Gilmore Girls. Well, he calls Rory Ace. His name isn't Ace, but that's what he calls her. And I think it's perfect. And now every time I wear this nail polish, I think of Logan and Rory and I love it. And before all you Jesse lovers come for me, I'm team Logan, which is weird. I usually always go for the underdog, but Jesse can be really mean. Like if you look back and you watch Gilmore Girls again as an adult, <laughs> Jesse doesn't really show up that much. He's kind of like all talk sometimes, you know? He's kind of like a, I don't know, I don't know. I love him, but like, I just, I love Logan. Obviously not in the new season that just came out on Netflix, like the, I think it's called A Year in the Life. Obviously I'm not Team Logan anymore. Now I like Jesse, but in the old show, the original show, I'm Team Ace. What can I say? Okay, and last, but certainly not least, we have this shade right here. And this one is called Cassiopeia, and I can't even describe the shade. I wanted something that looked like a galaxy, something Star Wars-y. Like, I was really going in the Star Wars-y route with this guy. And this just looks so Star Wars-y to me, by the way. But when we were sitting down creating the name for this polish, I don't know if it was Stephanie who came up with the name. I'm pretty sure it was. We were trying to think of winter names. And then we started thinking about Serendipity, the movie. Have you guys seen it with John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale? It's great if you love a love story. Such a beautiful movie, and it's a Christmas movie, and it's amazing. And in that movie, he talks about Cassiopeia, which if you didn't know, Cassiopeia is a constellation in the northern sky, and it's Greek mythology, and he talks about it in the movie. He like draws it on her arm, and they have like a beautiful romantic moment about Cassiopeia. And I think it was Stephanie who was like, oh my gosh, Cassiopeia, because this looks like the sky, like the night sky, you know? And I was like, that is perfect. And I love this color. I think it is so cool. I am 100% wearing this color on New Year's Eve. Like, definitely. This is the perfect New Year's Eve shade. Ugh, so cool. But yeah, guys, those were all the six colors. I hope you enjoyed this, like, story time and swatch video. I hope you guys enjoy these videos, and I hope they are helpful. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.